Hello guys, this is Paul here and welcome back to Gone Home. So this is part three and as we left it, um, as we left it last time, we were just about to head down this secret passage here which you found in the parents' closet, which is a bit strange. <laughs> but um, there was a little note in another room saying about this, this passage, but we found it anyway, saying it contains some of the Uncle Oscar's creepiest things. So we're checking this out and I'm, I'm a bit... Bit, bit cautious what's down here, it looks a bit creepy. Okay, so what have we got on the walls then? Just some like really old clippings? Like, what is this? I don't really know. It's like fa a lot of fashion things. So, what have we got on the wall here then? Is that my map? Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie Secret, House Investigation Log. Hidden compartments found three. Okay, library. Upstairs hall and foyer. Evidence of the supernaturals discovered. So the library is which we've... Yeah, so we came from Mum and Dad's room. Oh no, there's another one, sorry. It's, it's like the X's, so there's another hidden compartment. Oh right, in the picture, sorry. Ah, so it's those panels on the... Uh, I think there's a few of them downstairs. So we're, right, so we're going to have to check them out, I'm guessing. Hidden compartments marked on the map. Yeah, here we go. And upstairs as well. At it. Right. Okay. So what have we got here? Oh right, yeah, this is the library. Um where we came through before. Right, let's have so let's have a look at this cross then. So we've got a crucifix here. Oh Oh that Oh my god, that doesn't sound good. What is going on? It's just creepy. I don't like it. What is on the... I can't read what's in the crucifix. It's, so, f for God so the... Love, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Okay. Hmm. Right, I'm just going to put that there. I don't really want that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need that. Right, we've got these secret passages, so there's... What is that? That noise? I don't understand what that is, I can't... It doesn't sound like anything, like, common. It sounds like someone literally trying, either trying a door handle or a, a light switch or something. So, is there, um... Where are we? Live... Are we actually in the library, or...? Yeah, of course we are. We're in this room here. So in this room, yeah, it's highlighted purple. There's something, I think it's in this corner. Oh, there we go. Right. So what have we got? The Misfits. Maiden head. Okay. Ooh. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it sounds like she definitely sort of fell for this, uh, Lonnie. That sounded like it was coming from upstairs, which is the loft area. What's that? A smoke alarm into. So I think there's a. Is it this way? Yeah. Sorry. So it looks like there's a. Oh, <laughs> that was lucky. Ah, right. So we've got a Ouija board. Okay. Don't really want to be using that. Uh, what's this? Take first combo strip. Combo strip. Oh, half of some's lo Ah. Brilliant. 
So this, yeah. So we found a half of... <laughs> hello, who are you, Oscar? Oh, this is from the Ouija board. So it said, hello, Oscar, to come back? To come back? Ah, uh, possibly. Ugh. That's creepy then. So they've been using the Ouija board and they've apparently communicated with um, the uncle. That's a little bit creepy. And I'm in the house on my own. Oh dear. Right, uh, so we need to go and find... Have I opened that? Yeah, so I've looked in there. What's downstairs then? Um, it's a bit. Ah, so there's another one. Just. I think I actually walked past that. Because <laughs> when, uh, when it was playing the journal, I thought, I'm just going to carry on wandering just to see what's going on. So I think. Uh, yeah, it's this way, isn't it? Is it in. I think it's. It must be over here or something. Uh, aha, here we go. Right, and looks like, is that the... Ah, uh, yes, so... Right, we've got the completed combination for Sam's locker. Let's have a look. Uh, I guess it's 0501 then. Property of Sam, private. What's this then? Private, do not read. Okay, so this looks like a story. Right, okay, so I think we need to go to the locker then. Um, nothing else on the map that we needed. I mean, the basement's locked, so we need to obviously end up down there, I reckon. And that door over here was locked, wasn't it, I believe? Yeah. And right, so O five O one, yeah. Let's have a look in the locker then. Uh, and combination O five O one. There we go. Right. So we've got a picture of Lonnie. Cigarettes. Aha. Naughty, naughty. That nothing interesting. Gosh, Sam. Okay. So yeah, it does sound like Lonnie ninety four. Ah, oh, that is her. Ooh. Lonnie came over today, but everything was basement key. Different. Take that. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. Whilst this playing, to say, I'm gonna head down to the basement since we've just got the key for it. So I couldn't find the words. I Make our way over there. Cry, but I wasn't sad. It's not. She got up and sat next to me on oh, the no. bed. It's this one over here. I looked at her. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Ah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Right, so it looks like we're in the basement now. So let's... Head down here. So we're... It's a little bit creepy. There was nothing wrong added to the basket. Oh, right. I think that was the end of that uh, thing. That clicking noise again. So, right, okay. So there's got to be something down in this basement then. The fact there was a key that we had to find for it. So, let's uh, have a look around then. That was just a binder. Oh, somewhere underneath that, actually. So, yeah, I'd like to 
Let me see your Thanksgiving holiday. Okay. Okay, right, yeah. Little notes. So it all seems to be do to do with Sam. You know, she's leaving these journals, so Examine drawing. S and L in the heart. Sam and Lonnie. It's different now. Okay. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around. Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night. Or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Okay. Uh, that reproductive system worksheets. Okay. <laughs> don't really need to read that. I don't think, to be honest. <laughs> right. Ooh, furnace. Well, that's a bit sounding weird. <laughs> right, let's carry on then, see what we can find down here in this basement. Read letter. Read College. Congratulations, please to inform me of your admission to creative writing track of Read College. Okay. I'm so and of journal. <laughs> sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Okay. Interesting. So there's another book there, but yeah, I'm a, bit, a little bit creeped out why there's a face cut out of this picture. Uh, Richard Greenbrier. I think that's their grandfather from the sounds of it. Because you think it. One of grandfather's books. So, okay. Right, what we got in here then? We've got a scrap. 14 gay gold heart, two hearts, LNS. Okay. Fair enough. Binder again. Ooh, what's that on the floor there? Oh, there's no one. <laughs> and, right, which way did we go? Oh, right, no, we didn't come from these ways, I don't think. Uh, ah, uh, ooh, it's creepy. So let's have a look. Actually, no, yeah, let's have a look in here. First, went in there first, so I always hate that when you think, "Oh, there's two ways to go." I don't know, don't know where to go. Uh, Yolanda de Soto. So, okay, dear Sam, Spanish lessons. So happy you like my drawing. I'm thinking of us when I drew it, and you'd be able to tell you'd love Mexico. Lolly, Mexico. Let's let it got to me the day before we start driving back north. We're we racing this letter home. Okay. I've got another little pin down there. What's this say? X-ray specs. <laughs> little band. And we've got... Ooh. Is that something behind there? Read page. It's like a drug. First... Uh, middle of the night. I wake up and then it was... Uh, <laughs> That's quite funny. But I want to read more of it. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Uh, ooh, what we got here? Girl Scout, the band known as Club Scout. Set list. Wrong all for... No. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like... I like a receipt sing. for the pendant. And they were all what? kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. 
but she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm going to be at every single show. Ah, okay. So we found a tape. Um, what's that? It's a toy? What is it? Like a? Oh, it's like a horse. Ooh, there's a piece of paper down there. What we got? Grab scrap. Uh, can't really see. It's a bit dark in it. Is there anything else? There doesn't seem to be much in it. I'm going to close this door. It's a bit... <laughs> I don't like the door. It's creepy. There's a scrap gone. There it is. So let's take it over here. Just have a quick look. Might not be anything in it, but... Um... Okay. Can't really... Doesn't seem too important. Put that there in it. But yeah, it looks like a map of the house here. Is there anything that we've... We're missing or stairs to basement? No, this is all the, the standard rooms. First floor plan though. But we've got a safe here, so that's interesting. Anything underneath the safe? Okay, so it looks like we've got another combination to find. What got these bells? Guest room. Mr. Mason's room. That's the. Uh, Okay, library. Why is the library on missing? The kitchen. Okay. It's really strange, Mr. Mason. Was it the uncle's house then, and they've just and they've just moved it? Ah, yeah. I think the uncle obviously died. I'm guessing the family he left it. Yeah, he left it in his will. I remember we found the, the will and testament. So they've, they've moved in, basically. Strange. So let's have a look. This. Okay. Seems to be what was that called actually? Uh Girl Scout self. Okay, right, so we've got a safe, so we just find the combination for that. Let's have a look in this little room here then. Uh grab book. No. What's that? What is that? Just Ash or something? It looks like ashes. Is that like a urn? Hmm. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff. Postcards. Okay, there's a postcode from. Oh! They tell you to stick with the group <laughs> on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot So we lost. look like we've got a uh, like, passage behind this thing here. Right before the bus left, so let's the head out. And came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not See to See what leave. we got up here. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Ugh. But I don't think they know, no about us the kids at school though I'm really it's like we've got an story. entrance so where's this going stick then stick with the group Katie pull handle stick with the group oh this is the guest room I looked here earlier didn't I yeah oh, okay right so that's another right so we've got a way back up there um not that we need it really but yeah all these secret pastures with handles to open the door Right, so it looks like we've found this area here. Um, so let's have a look. So Brad, what's this? What is this place? It looks like a bit of a secret hangout. Probably where Sam and... Yeah, because we've got like Sonic Youth and all these kind of band things around here. So I reckon this is where they, after they found the secret passages, this is where they would hang out. Um, okay, so right guys, I think we're going to leave the video there. And... Um, yeah, so this is getting a lot more interesting, so I hope you're enjoying this and would like to see more uh, from this 
uh, from Gone Home, basically, to uncover what's actually gone on here. So uh, please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed and would like to see more from me. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.